He's a widely published independent health journalist oh, who has good. spent countless hours behind the computer researching the medical industry, the corruption, and what really health is. So please welcome to the steps, Jeffrey Jackson. Hey, Jeffrey. Yep. Hello, thank you for coming out. The pharmaceutical industry is betting that you don't listen to these messages we're talking about today. The mainstream reporters and the drug companies are hoping that you don't listen to independent journalists, voices, or researchers casting them in a well-deserved bad light. And they are also spending billions of dollars as we speak to lobby and to control the media's message. But it's not working and we're still here and there's more of us every day. Yes! The momentum is on our side and there's an exponential awakening towards health freedom. Toxic patented chemicals are never the answer to health. Yes. <laughs> Neither is the suffocating control over our health choices that is being pushed on us right now and is why we are fighting today. Pharmaceutical companies have infected our healing arts and flipped them into profit margins and bottom lines devoid of humanity and empathy. Cancer, autism, and neurological disorders are epidemics. The solutions that have been forced upon us by drug companies are nothing more than a failed experiment that have enriched a few while devastating the health of all of us. Yes! The conflicts of interest that the media ignores and the revolving doors between regulatory agencies and high-paying pharmaceutical positions have reached insulting and abusive proportions. Right on! And at Delivering Truth, the mainstream media has become useless at best. Yet often, it is proving to be a dangerous hindrance to human consciousness and an obstacle to the vital discussion around health and medical challenges of our times. How many here have experienced a family member harmed by vaccines or pharmaceutical drugs? Please raise your hand. I'm speaking here today not to diagnose where we are as a country, but to urge everyone to take responsibility for their health to support healers that are treating the root cause of illness and disease without toxic pharmaceutical drugs or vaccines. These acts are the acts that symbolize conscious medical and health civil disobedience in our time today. The cracks in the American empire are being seen and these are very historic times. Yes. <laughs> Understand that it would be not enough to just unseat pharmaceutical pharmaceutical company control that has captured our country. There is an urgent need to fill the void with education and lessons and methods of natural healing away from toxic chemicals and cradle to grave injections. We know how conscientious objectors inside and outside our medical system are being treated. Increasingly parents wishing to vac not vaccinate their kids face the loss of education for those children, loss of access to medical benefits, and in some cases, child protective services will come to their doors. This will not happen on our watch. Yes. Right on! Within the medical community, practitioners who are aware and awake and speak out are losing their jobs, blacklisted and penalized. Many of these t attacks occur and these methods are outside of law in the gray area of censorship and pressure and the media ignores it. The tipping point is here. It is theorized and historically proven that no revolution is successful until significant elements of internal security defect or refuse to protect the discredited regime. We are seeing now the beginning of health professionals refusing to protect a discredited pharmaceutical regime. Yeah. Right on. Doctors and nurses are dissuading their patients from vaccines behind closed doors in their offices and hospitals. Patients are leaving their practitioners who refuse informed consent and do not trust and respect their medical rights. For any media out there right now, or watch this video later, here's some things you can report. 
the Starfield study published in the Journal of American Medical Association, volume 284, and found that 2.25 million U.S. citizens die as a direct result of our healthcare system per decade. Four billion dollars, approaching four billion dollars, has been spent on vaccine injuries, proving the vaccines are not safe or effective. Right on. Any politician or news media outlet that tries to tell you the science is settled is either dangerously ignorant or is attempting to use propaganda to steer the discussion, and they should be removed. Right on. Medical professionals that see this damage and the underreported severe adverse re reactions from vaccines are already starting to break ranks. Nurses are reporting routine vaccine in injury to infants in the neonatal intensive care units in the U.S. Soon, this damage was confirmed in the Journal of American Medical Association Pediatrics, Volume 169. And still no media outlets have run the story, only independent journalists. Wow! This censorship of information has no place in any society and continues to bring shame to the very foundations of our medical community. Right on. Amen. The discussion is in full swing. People are ready and the technology exists to decentralize media like the live streams right out front here. Encryption and blockchain technology has the ability to release information and protect the line of whistleblowers waiting to come forward. And doctors and researchers, I encourage you to continue speaking and publishing your methods and protocols to reverse the epidemic illness we face no matter how controversial it is. Government, government and pharmaceutical whistleblowers know that the most dangerous position you can find yourself in right now is when only your enemy, enemies know your names. Please come forward. And finally, women, listen to your intuition and trust it. The parents will always know more than the doctor, the scientist, or the researcher. The mainstream medical community has been led astray and is now ignoring the very concerns and demands of the people it's supposed to be helping. The mainstream media is busy censoring and controlling narratives of any story that frames the pharmaceutical companies in their much-deserved bad light. We have the power to stop this. Let's start now. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you.